Good morning, everyone. I'm Jessica. Welcome back. Today, we're working on our final block for this week for the 2023 Scrappy Sampler. Let's get started on block 25. This block uses two different techniques to make it. We have traditional piecing, which we have used templates to cut these out. And the reason why we use templates is because the pieces in this block at this size don't come out nicely to cut. Um, they're like to a 16th of an inch and um, it'd be really difficult for you to get those measurements with uh, out a template. So that's why we're using templates. Then we have one um, piece that is cut traditionally. This is from a three and a half inch square cut on the diagonal and you have one extra triangle from each. We're gonna make a half square triangle from that. And then the other thing we have is foundation paper piecing. You can make these, this kind of block that's gonna look like this is a half rectangle. You can make half rectangle blocks with a ruler, with a te with templates, or with foundation paper piecing. So we're gonna make it with foundation paper piecing here. We're gonna start with that part of the block. And um, just be careful when you're cutting these out because remember we're working on the back of the, you know, the piece. So if you were to look at this template and say, oh, I need to cut the rectangle like this, um, when you went to put it on the back, it would be backwards. So just pay careful attention when you're cutting your rectangles needed for these half rectangle blocks. Uh, we're gonna start, this is a really easy foundation paper piecing because it's only two pieces, but this will just give us a really perfect half rectangle unit um, without needing a special ruler or fussing with a template for these blocks. So I'm folding on the line between the two and then I'm gonna take my other piece and I'm definitely gonna test it here because if you don't have it lined up correctly, um, you won't have coverage of the rectangle. That looks good to me. So I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm turning my stitch length down to 1.8 and then I'm gonna sew across the line between B1 and B2 here. And we have two of these units they are made exactly the same by putting two pieces in, but they are not identical. So you do need to make a B1 and a B2. The, the way, let me show you. You can see here, they're mirror images of each other. So you do need to make an A unit and a B unit. So this is the B unit. I'm just gonna make the A unit and then we'll press these at the same time. But the A unit's gonna be made exactly the same way you lay your rectangle on, fold back where your seam line is, so you know, and then you're gonna put this a quarter of an inch above it and then you're gonna test it. Now see, if I didn't test that here, I wouldn't have coverage on this side. So basically what that means is I need to like slide it down and that looks good. I have, this block is a little bit, see how I have extra paper outside, so it's a little bit oversized yet, so I think I'm going to have really good coverage there, even though it might have looked like I didn't. So now we're just going to just press this seam and then we're going to flip them over just like we have done for all of our foundation paper piecing blocks and we're going to trim along the dotted line to give us our unit. I went ahead and I trimmed both of the units. If you need a refresher on how to do that, you can visit one of the um, previous foundation paper piecing video blocks for this quilt along. It's done in the same method and like I said, you just trimmed along the dotted line and this is what you're left with. So now we need to take the paper out. It will just make assembling this block easier. So this is a simple one because you only have two pieces. So you just write down the middle diagonal and then this other one should just lift out now because nothing is hooking it in place. And we have our piece. And I'm gonna repeat that on the other one. And to begin sewing the block, together we're taking this half rectangle and the piece that we just made now just reference the pattern and make sure you're putting the correct half rectangle here because the way that they're placed does matter so we're taking this uh, unit that we just made with the nine patch and putting it on top of the half half rectangle and then we're going to sew this length here i'm just making sure everything is aligned as i go that looks good. And we 
have this, we're left with this. And then we're going to put together the bottom unit and then we'll sew them together. So the bottom unit is going to look like this, the half square triangle and the other half rectangle. And we're gonna sew those two together. And then we're going to take uh, the unit that we just made and sew it to the nine patch unit. This is like a pretty, um, you know, a bouquet here. And it's a different block. I have not seen this used at all. I'm sure it has been, but um, in, in recent quotes, I haven't seen a pattern like this. And um, I thought this was a pretty block. And here we go. And here's our block. So I hope you enjoyed making this. It's a little bit of a different one, kind of a bouquetish block with leaves surrounding it, but not one you see very often. So uh, it was fun, fun to make, and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And if not, I will see you back here next week for the next three blocks. Thanks for following along. Have a nice weekend.